Hello everyone, it's me JP from Unix Tutorials. Today, in this video, I'll show you how to make your Windows desktop look clean and minimal with just a single click. So, without any further delay, let's begin. So, right now you can see my Windows desktop screen, which looks very unorganized and messed up with different types of files and folders. So, if you are a person who feels lazy to organize such massive files and folders of the desktop screen, then you can try some desktop fancy tools like iTop is the desktop which can help you in such situation. Moreover, this software is very easy to use and the good thing about it is that it's 100% free. So, now what you need to do is just open any web browser and just visit to this website so I'll be providing this website link too in the video description so you can click there and visit to its website so once you visit to its website you can see your download link just click on it so wait for a few seconds until the complete downloading is done so finally the software has been downloaded so let me go to the folder where it's being downloaded and let me close this web browser so now just double click the software installer now click on next click on accept click on next click on next wait for a few more seconds until the complete installation is done so finally the software has been installed successfully now you can click on finish and wait for a few more seconds so now you can see here some instructions the first one is a quick start or you can customize if you know how to customize then you can choose the second option but if you're new to this software then i will highly recommend to use it first time by clicking on quick start now it will show you some instructions now you can see here all the files folders or any application or programs are auto arranged or you can see here now it has been arranged in different groups so you can see here so the programs folders and files so you can see all the files so it automatically arranges your unorganized or messed up files or folders of your windows desktop screen so now inside the application the first option you will get some guide that is it will show you all the guidance so you can read here one by one the first one is create a box rename a box adjust a box roll up a box which i'm gonna show you in the latter part of this video and let us jump to the next option the appearance just click on it so under the appearance you will get two options like show tiles so you can see here always which is being selected right now so if you select this always option then the each folder or the group name will be always shown here but if you want to auto hide it then you can just select this on mouse over now you can see here so once you move the mouse on the respective group or folder so you can see here only that time it will be shown up so you can see here once you move the mouse again so you can see here you can do the same thing so if you like always showing the group or group names then just select this always if you want the group names always being shown here and below you can see here colors and fonts so you can change the transparency of each group just by sliding this so you can see here and if you want to increase it you can increase it so i'll keep it in the lowest one and you can just customize the phone styles also by clicking on this custom phone so you can see here tons of options for the phones and the phone size also so right now I'll just keep it as it is and you can select uh, your respective language so right now this much of language is being available and you can see here some additional options so borders of the box area if you enable it there will be a box you can see under the group name so I'll just disable it and next option is a quick action so under the quick actions you can see here the first one you can see here double click blank area on desktop to hide or show icons so if you want to hide all this group then just move your mouse cursor on the blank area of your desktop and just 
double left mouse click again if you want to show it back again just double left mouse click so you can see here once again do the same thing so you can just hide or unhide just by double left clicking on the blank area of your desktop screen so next option is so icon set startup that means when you start this application all the icons will be shown and below here some shortcuts you can use a shortcut here or you can just customize depending upon your needs so you can see enable hot keys these are also shortcuts and below you can see here quick search anything from desktop so the default hot case here is a win f3 and you can see here so your recent search results also so these are the options you are going to get inside the quick actions and next option is the organization so under the organization you will get some options like general loops put new icons into your desktop or you can change it anywhere whichever folders files or documents or programs where you want to add here and you can just set your type best rules also below if by enabling those options and below here you can see additional apply rules so these are some options like above all rules only apply to those send text to icons submit the number of newly auto group items on the box title bar so you will be getting this options inside the organizations and the next is a layout under the layout you can see here some options like preserve my desktop layout by scaling my boxes or you can change store my box positions and different scheme based on screen resolutions or if you don't want to preserve the layouts here which is set by default then you can just select this don't preserve my desktop layout and below you can see arrangement and spacing keep boxes lined up when moving keep the box space 24 pixels apart when moving you can change the pixel size also if you want to increase this click on it and you can just put your respective pixels below next to it is a keep boxes size to even multiples of icons when resizing and the last option is ignore above restrictions by holding shift key so these are the options you are going to get inside the layout option and the last one is about the software and the developers who have developed this software so these are the options you are going to get inside this software settings so now if you want to resize the respective groups then what you need to do is just move your mouse cursor to the corner side of every groups so you can see here two left and right arrow once you see this cursor style then just left mouse click and just drag it so you can see here and if you want to place it then you can see this kind of mouse cursor pointing in towards the four directional now you can just move it wherever you want to place this now say you want to do some customizations for this groups then you can see here on the left side option just click on it and you can see your view so if you want to hide all this files and documents of this group then what you can do is you can see here one icon name as roll up box just click on it now it will show you only the level of this group you can do the same thing with the other one just by clicking this roll up box option and you can do this one also so inside the view options you will get a roll up box exclude this box from the quick height exclude this box from quick access or you can change the appearance also and next option is a sort by you can organize by none or name file size file type time created time modified time edit uses frequency whichever you like you want to set with the name then you can just rearrange with the name also and next to it is the opacity how much opacity you want to keep the file so if you set it to 60 the opacity changes so if you want to set it back to the 100 then it will stay in the 100 opacity so the next option is the repress icon you can just click on repress if some files or icons are not being added to this group then you can just click on this repress icon you can just rename the box just by clicking here also or you can do the double left clicking by just on the name and you can change the name here and last one is the remove the box if you click on this remove box then it will just 
edit all the files and folders in the unorganized manner also so I'll not recommend the last option so in my opinion it's a very good software which will make your Windows desktop look clean and minimal with just a single click so if you never known about this cool software then you should definitely give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching